Welcome back to our channel Bungees and again this is Don and I'm here to talk about most uh, talk to talk about um, happening in the internet right now and it's nothing more than the Game of Thrones final season finale it just came out today and uh, lots of things has been said about this final season uh, during the past few episodes, specifically of the episode 5, which Daenerys turned out to be the Mad Queen. And uh, there are lots of um, Game of Thrones fanatics who turned out to be so very disappointed about how it turned out for the show. Well, I can't blame them. And uh, also, D&D, the writers and, uh, of this uh, TV series, has been... Um, um, is being criticized about how they wrote this, um, this specific series. And um, right now, I'm just here to give you or to show you some about the comments, um, the ones that I've seen in Facebook um, in a group where in there. Uh, these are the people who really um, watched a Game of Thrones since day one. And um, there are things that they, they said or commented uh, in Facebook about this and I'm here to show you some of them and um, it's a quite funny and some people are you know being sarcastic mostly but I uh, just thought of sharing them to you and uh, you can comment below what you think about their comments regarding this uh, finale um, which came up just today so the very first one is from Jonar Garcia or Jonazar Garcia and he said, Thank you HBO for having a good seven seasons of Game of Thrones. Seven seasons? Which, uh, yeah, he's being sarcastic. Because uh, for him, perhaps he thinks that um, everything ended already in season seven. Because uh, the entire season, season eight, is quite not that good for him. Which, is for me as well, I don't find it that, you know, that really has a good impact for those who really love the show but um, well I can't blame him for saying that and um, the next one is actually one of my comments as well and I said there I bet you will strongly agree with me to rather have Liana Mormont queen as queen of the six kingdoms than Bran well number one She's intelligent. Number two, she's strong. Number three, she's courageous. Four, very much queenly at her age of 10. And has the huge falls above them all. Well, you know, uh, the story, well, you can see in my previous vlogs that I made um, one for her during the third episode, if I'm not mistaken, when she, you know, when she killed one of the giants, uh, white giants. Um, with the with the use of uh, dragon glass, and she stick it onto the head of that giant, and she killed it. So I bet that I think that there's a strong point on this that, that she's better than Bran because Bran is crippled. I'm not I'm not have nothing against crippled people, but with regard to being a king in this series, like after you watch the entire stretch of seven seasons, and you're just gonna end up with Bran. It's like for me, Bran is not the typical guy that should be sitting on the Iron Throne or to be considered as the King of the Six Kingdoms. It turned out now to be six because um, they had agreed uh, that um, Winterfell, you know, will just be an independent kingdom. And uh, the next one is from yours truly again. I actually said there, I it's actually a meme. It's sort of a meme. But um, when if only Dragon uh, can comment as well on Facebook about this uh, show for this finale, he would uh, probably say the new king doesn't need the throne because he has his own chair. That's quite sarcastic, really. Because um, Dragon, if you've seen the finale, um, the finale, if you've watched it, um, due to his uh, demise. He's very upset. He was so angry that John killed Daenerys. For those people who haven't watched this uh, last episode, 
um, sorry about that spoiler, but uh, when um, when John killed um, the mother of dragons, Dragon is the, the last dragon left. It doesn't sound right, but um, he's the last dragon. He's so mad, he turns out to be the mad dragon instead of Queen Daenerys being tagged as the mad queen. And um, he, you know, having this kind of uh, meme says that the new king, which is Bran, and he's crippled and he's sitting in a wheelchair. So it it will not hurt. Or it will not hurt Bran because he has his own chair already for being having or for sitting in the wheelchair because he's crippled. So and uh, the next one is from Donna Cunningham. She says. It was brilliant to see it melted to the ground. The wheel is finally broken. Well, you know, if you've been watching this show, uh, Daenerys has been aiming to have finally um, not just break the wheel of the uh, what's been happening in the Seven Kingdoms. She wants to finally end it, not just break it. So. That was uh, the comment coming from Con Donna Cunningham. And the next one also is uh, from Hazel Worrall. She says, Awful ending to an excellent series. Bran was a disappointment. He could have at least let us see the dragon in his vision as he had no dialogue throughout. Well, in the last, uh, in the last scenes, dragon cannot be found anywhere. If I'm not mistaken, it was um, it was Brienne who said that um, Dragon was last seen somewhere in the east. Bran has this um, um, has this power to you know to get into someone's mind, um, like what he did with Haldor. Um, he can control things. He can control anyone. So why not control Dragon? Or be in the body of Drago. Um, the next one is uh, about from Andy Martinez, and he says it was a bittersweet ending. The show started with Starks and ended with Starks. Different difference is that now they're in, uh, in the opposite of the two parallels. It started with their demise and ended with their uprising. It just felt that it was so rushed this season should have been this season should have been spread out to at least another season so you know this as i've mentioned in the previous um my previous vlog for episode five i said that having this kind of um overhyped type of uh, show um it will really be so difficult to end it it's like you know the uh, you will have to really make sure that everything is uh, has been has been plotted correctly because um, all the people specifically you're, you're not you're not having um, you're not having um, dumb people watching your good type of show so there are intelligent people they're very much aware of what's going on they're pretty much seeing the small things small details in the show so the kind of um, the kind of thing of ending it should be done or executed very well but it's just so sad that for me it was not really done well um, the next uh, comment is coming from Jasmilar and she says I'm actually really disappointed that John got sent to the wall I really thought he would end up on the throne I know they decided that kings and queens will be chosen now and not born but why did nobody mention that John is right is the rightful heir? I'm annoyed. I was actually having the same thought that what is the you know the very reason or the very um, the very purpose of what happened in episode three when the Battle of Winterfell and killing the Night King and there was actually in episode two where in uh, Jon Snow actually revealed or told Daenerys that his uh, true identity of being Aegon Targaryen. So, in the last, in the fight, in the finale, 
why did I was like also thinking why did it not say that to everyone? And one more thing, where did all the letters that um, Varys wrote or sent by a raven? Where did it all go? Where did he send it? Who received it? Was there anybody who received it? There were like some loopholes over there. And I'm not actually, I don't, I don't know what happened in this last, in this finale. I was really so disappointed. And um, the next one is about uh, when it's from Susan Murphy. And she says, an Emmy Award for Outstanding Actors in a Drama, GOT. Best Cinematography, GOT. Best Musical Score, GOT. Most rushed script ever at the expense of the actors and fans, GOT. That's funny. So it's being, she's being totally sarcastic there. And then the next one is from Mark Gillings. He said, A little bit of me wishes that John got Kentucky Fried Chicken by Chocon to prove without doubt his bloodline. You know for a fact, that the generis said that if you're really a dragon fire cannot cannot hurt you or cannot kill you so in that last um in that scene where in after john um put a knife um in daenerys uh, ch um, chest um when dragon got so mad he blows a, a dragon fire towards the towards where the iron throne was and and melted it however why why did he not try to burn Jon Snow I think um, actually there is a phrase um, that Daenerys used to say um, actually he said she said that um, Wherein a dragon is not a slave, and uh, it's actually I love to say it in in Valyrian. Um, how she how she say it in Valyrian? Uh, okay, the phrase says is "Zaldrizes Vuzdari Ixus Daur." It says it means that in Valyrian, is a dragon is not a slave. For me, um, having having um, foreseeing that uh, dragon not able to hurt. Or at least burn um, Jon Snow. He dragons dragons are considered actually being slaves to Targaryens because they cannot hurt them. They want they can't burn them. They can't eat them. They cannot even you know can't they can't do anything towards any Targaryens. So they're slaves to Targaryens. So I think this um, this specific um, phrase, which is uh, again. In Valerian, which I really love to say, saying it, Zildrazis Buzdari Tsuzdaur, it means that a dragon is not a slave, is not true. Because all dragons are actually slaves of Targaryens. And uh, moving on, the next uh, one is actually um, by Corey Bailey. He said, What a crap ending. Sean should have stayed a snow. There is no point in him being a Targaryen and a waste of episode minutes for no reason at all that build up for nothing. Even he didn't become become king, Dragon should have still been his or come back at some point to become his. Happy ending for all but a lot of pointless build up for no reason. Um, he has a point there. Um, he's pointing out that it was actually crappy that John um, for revealing Jon's true identity as a Targaryen, but actually not really telling or giving an giving an emphasis of what his identity is all about, being a true Targaryen or the true heir to the Iron Throne, because they just threw it all out. And in the very last, we're in the all voted now who will be the next king. Uh, nobody mentioned about the true identity of um, Jon, and also um, at least. You know why not own Dragon? He, he could have at least tried to um, call Dragon and stay in King's Landing for him to be for him to um, at least um, what do you call this? For him to establish himself, um, having a, a good control over Dragon, though Daenerys is already gone. 
despite of Darius being gone already. At least he has this, um, that he will be able to establish his power or his authority um, over Drogon and being the next truly heir, true heir to the, to the throne or the kingdom by, you know, at least trying to uh, own Drogon. Because, you know, again, as I've mentioned, Targaryens owns and slaves dra dragons. Specifically, the last dragon is Drogon. So, the next one is, uh, is actually from Kim Crowell. Um, he said, My only disappointment in the finale was John not getting the recognition and respect he deserved and earned. He deserved better than returning to Nightwatch. If you've seen the entire stretch of the series, it's like, it was always about Jon Snow, how he developed himself. Um, you know, he's been, he was able to reunite the wildlings. These are, the wildlings are the people who, who, who lives um, on the other side of the wall. And they were, he was able to um, unite, him, unite them to the people on the other side of the wall, which is the, the north. The next north is Winterfell, which consists of the others, uh, other kingdoms. And um, he was able to do that, and he has that um, potential, and he was able to develop that in the entire stretch of this, of this series, that he is indeed, has that king type of blood in him, but they just threw it all away, they just, I don't know why they, they just made him nothing, he ended up being no, no one, nobody, and just, you know, he was thrown on the very, on the very, the least place where I, I, I thought of him being there in the, in the other side of the wall. It was really, really disappointing. And uh, the last one is actually from Emma Louise. She says, only good thing was Ghost finally getting some love. It's actually good because um, in the previous episode, we're in... Jon Snow had to go. Um, he said he um, he actually gave um, Ghost his uh, dire wolf to Tormund. Um, he, he asked Tormund to bring Ghost with him when he go back to to the real North, which is on the other side of the wall. Uh, most people got so disappointed with uh, with the character of Jon that he didn't get to pet. Uh, ghost before leaving and uh, going to war but finally it happened this uh, this finale um, Jon Snow was able to pet and reunite reunited with uh, with Ghost that was a really good scene and then oh there's another one it's actually from Michael Putney and he said, Fire goes and explores the unknown world. Game of Thrones sequel, anybody? So, like, you know, everyone loves Arya Stark's character. Specific, especially when she ended or killed the Night, the, the Night King in episode uh, 3. It was really cool for if um, Arya will have her own series. Um, or at least like a, a sequel. For this just uh, focusing on Arya Stark it will be very very cool I, I would love to watch it and um, I hope that they will make it and there's uh, there's this Juliana McKenzie she said this ending was like watching a cooking show for an hour about how to make a pizza but in the end they ordered delivery <laughs> that was like crazy it was like uh, you know what the sarcasm of this uh, statement that she she mentioned here it was really it was really funny to say it was really a bit rushed uh, for this specific um, season. I don't know why they just have made it for just six, wherein they could probably made it um, like up to at least eight, so that they can they can make it better, um, end it better. Uh, not to mention that there were some mistakes that is that happened, which has been obviously um, 
due to lack of time of uh, at least making it perfect, like the, uh, the coffee cup that has been um, has been seen in episode two and season eight, and also in this final in this final episode, there was actually another mistake there, where in um, at the um, at the feet of um, of Sam, there's actually um, a bottle a bottle of water that has been seen there. I, I will try to find it and, and uh, try to uh, show it here for you guys. And it was really, it was really a bit rushed. And I'm so really disappointed with this. I, it is not the. You know, I'm not saying that they didn't do it well, but at least they just they could have at least make it better than this because they all they they just seem to um wasted the entire previous seven and seven seven seasons is like it doesn't make sense at all of what how they did they ended this uh, this show and uh, now I'm, I'll be um, showing some memes funny memes that um, this uh, the show had or was made of and you can enjoy it here try to try to see it video and don't forget to comment below about what your thoughts are about um, the finale of Game of Thrones and um, it was quite sad again to say goodbye and by the way with the, for this necklace I just started wearing it it looks like kind of tribal it's uh, actually it's just a thought of giving an emphasis of the of the spirit of Drogon for this and again guys thank you so much for your time and uh, hope to see you again soon with our next uh, video thank you so much have a good day bye